What's up guys, my name is Zanprez, and welcome back, or welcome to my channel. Today's video, usually on my videos that I start with killing coconut crap, it means it's gonna be a boost video, but today is not gonna be a boost video, but I'm doing something a little bit different, and today I'm gonna be talking about the ant challenge. Now, the ant challenge is something, and this is actually, I wouldn't say a super new feature to the game, but it is a feature that was not in the game when it was released, so it is a feature that some people still aren't too sure about. It has been in the game for a while, so I know a lot of people have figured it out, but I do think that it can be kind of confusing at first, so I'm gonna do a video right here just kind of talking about the ant challenge a little bit, how to get a better score, what to look for, different amulets, the different rewards you can get, and I hope this helps you guys. Thank you guys so much for the support on my channel. It, it really does mean so much. So right now when we're starting, I recently changed my hive up and I have an attack power of 1,254. In my last video, I switched up my hive a little bit to make my star saw a bit better. This is my current hive setup if you guys want to copy it. I actually really like this hive setup right now for a scorching star with star saw passive ability combinations. So I would highly recommend this. I'm not saying it's the best, but I definitely think that it works and it's pretty great for the ant challenge too. So I'm going to be doing a bunch of ant challenges today and I'm going to kind of walk you guys through it a little bit. So right here, make sure that you guys are claiming your free ant challenge pass every two hours. Um, and just always try to do ant challenges because your amulet can always get better and, you know, just more practice will make you better at it. So, here we go, let's jump into this challenge and I'm gonna just guide you through this. Okay, so I'm pretty much probably just gonna talk for this challenge right here. I am gonna speed it up though because I know all these challenges probably are gonna be pretty boring to watch if they're all not sped up at all and this video would be insanely long so I definitely will try to speed up these clips as much as possible. But I just want to say right here, I have all level 16 bees and my vicious bee is level 17, so that's going to be really important to have high level bees because if your ants that you're spawning in are higher level than your bees, then you are going to have a seriously very difficult time defeating your ants, so make sure that your ants are not too high levels for your bees. And if they are, then maybe that's a sign to start leveling up your bees. I am when I get to higher scores on the ant challenge, it is going to say that I'm missing a few times and the reason for that is I don't really get a high enough score to start seeing the level 17 ants, however the reason that it is going to be saying that it's missing the attack is because the spicy bee spawns in an ability that summons more fire bees into the field and those fire bees are actually going to be a lower level than the rest of your hive so that's the reason why it says missing a couple of times but I do have all level 16 and one level 17 bee which is the vicious bee which definitely helps a lot with my power in these so I kind of just want to talk about this there are different types of ants in the ant challenge and I'm sure you guys know that there is the regular ant, the army ant, the fire ant, the flying ant and the giant ant ant and all of them move very differently and they do different damage and it's just very different so here we go i finished my first ant challenge this isn't the greatest amulet that i've ever received and it has blue pollen so i'm definitely not going to keep it but that critical power that the attack and the critical chance is great this is my first time getting above 400 in the ant challenge which is super exciting but as you can see here there are some things so I was just saying all the different types of ants. I think that the giant ant actually hits the hardest and will deal the most damage to you. But if you are good about it, the giant ant moves extremely slow. Just don't let the giant ant make contact with you. The ant, the regular ant, will just move in a path and it will stay on that path. The fire ant does the same thing. It will move in a path and stay in that path, except it leaves a fire trail, which can be really frustrating. So my advice is, Try to kill the fire ants as fast as possible just because that trail of fire is so annoying and it kind of blocks you. The army ant will follow you around and those actually deal a pretty high amount of damage as well. And the flying ant. Now, flying ants I don't experience too much trouble with. They kind of move like the mantis where they jump at you. They stop right in front of you and then jump at you so they move like the mantis or the king beetle a little bit. So I didn't really have any trouble with them. But when I was at earlier stages in the game, I remember right when the ant challenge came out, I struggled so hard with flying ants, so I know how some of you guys feel because they can be pretty frustrating. So those are the different types of ants. 
And as you can see here, I don't have a tropical drink or an oil activated, but both of those are gonna help you guys out. So if you guys have got all of your items in the game and you don't need any oils or your tropical drinks, I would recommend if you have some extra, placing them down and doing a couple ant challenges with them just because they will give you just big enough boosts to help you improve your score a little bit. Also, something super helpful, and this is something I've always done, is right when you get into the ant challenge, you're going to want to make sure that you kind of hug the end of the, of the screen that's furthest away from the anthill. So you're going to, once you get into the challenge, you're going to kind of want to stay right up against the wall that is closest to you. So the wall that's right in front of me, you're gonna kinda wanna stay close to that wall and that is because when ants spawn in, ants will not usually spawn in right on the wall up against here. So I try to stay there. I also try to stay in the middle so I can see both of the sides of the screen so I can see the different gates that the lawnmowers can spawn from because at the early stages, lawnmowers are not scary at all. But near the end of the five minute challenge, if you are still alive, and the ants don't kill you, the lawnmowers will kill you because they move insanely fast, they spawn so fast, so really do just make sure that you are able to see both sides of the field at the same time so you can make sure that a lawnmower is not coming your way. So like I said, oil tropical and tropical drink should probably be activated because those will help you out a lot. Avoid lawnmowers and make sure that you can see both sides of the screen. I talked about all of the different ants and now What's left to talk about is you're going to really want a demon mask or a fire mask or even a gummy mask. The gummy mask actually, fun fact, I think some people probably know this, but this is kind of interesting. The gummy mask has the best attack in the game, but it only has the best attack in the game when the gummy morph is activated. And it's pretty hard to activate your gummy morph, but the gummy and uh, morph is going to give you the most amount of attack. So I suppose that's not the worst um, mask to be wearing if you're in here. Um, I would just recommend using gumdrop so you can try to trigger that ability a bit quicker, but I would definitely recommend the demon mask or the fire mask. Obviously the demon mask is better, but not everybody is at that stage of the game. And you're kind of just going to want to follow those rules. So I'm going to be quiet here for a minute, do some more challenges. See, this amulet is not super great, um, but yeah, I'll just be quiet for a little and I'll get back to you guys when something fun happens. Alright guys, I have one more thing to add. This is actually future Zamprez here. I wanted to mention this in the video, but I totally forgot. One thing that I wanted to touch on were stingers. So stingers are obviously going to be extremely helpful to you. I obviously wouldn't recommend using a ton of stingers if you don't have Vicious Bee yet, but once you have Vicious Bee, and even if you have um, the Demon Mask, that's even better um, because stingers are super helpful in this challenge. But I do want to say, do not use your stingers when your bees are a high enough level to kill all of your ants. What I like to do is, since all my bees are level 16, and the highest level ants that I can really spawn in my fields are level 16, is I just start using my stingers once I start spawning level 16 ants in the field, just so I can kill them a little bit easier, um, because the level 16 ants do have a little bit more health. Um, but that's that's my tip. I don't want you guys to be wasting all of your singers because you really don't need them at the very beginning of the challenge. This is very similar to stick bug. You don't need to be using stingers at the very beginning of the stick bug challenge just because you can already kill the um, the stick bug and the ants so easily without the help of singers. So I just want to make sure that I added that in. I hope that's helpful. I think that's an extremely helpful tip just because it's really frustrating to have to try and build up all of these stingers just to have to waste them in an ant challenge when you don't really need them. So back to the video. So sorry about that. Okay, and that is another ant challenge down. That is my new record to 411. This is actually a phenomenal amulet for a red hive, except that player move speed is not a good stat. I would always recommend avoiding that stat. I do not think that it is very helpful to you. Obviously, some extra move speed is nice, but it's not going to be as good as critical power or critical chance. So 
you know, it's kind of unfortunate that that stat is on this amulet, so I won't be picking it up. But it does have a good red field pollen boost and white pollen boost as well, so I'm gonna keep my old one and let's just do another challenge. Okay, so this is probably going to be my last ant challenge right here that I just did, but wow, this is probably the perfect amulet that you can have if you're a blue hive. I'm not going to accept it because I'm a red hive, but I'm very sorry to all of you blue hives out there, um, because this is probably the ideal blue hive amulet that you guys are going to want if you're a blue hive, but you know, it has blue pollen, it's just not the thing that I'm looking for. But I hope that you guys were able to find this video helpful to you. I know the ant amulet is pretty straightforward to some people, but especially when you're starting off, it can be kind of difficult and just a little bit confusing in general. So I hope that some of you guys were able to find this video helpful. Um, it definitely has a huge learning curve to this amulet, especially, and this challenge. It's, it's very difficult, but um, you know, you'll figure it out after a while. You'll figure out uh, just how to fight each one of the ants in the challenge and also right here this is a clip of a vicious bee while mondo chick has spawned and if you guys didn't know this if a vicious bee is in your field while mondo chick spawns the vicious bee the wild vicious bee will actually damage the mondo chick which it's with its spikes which not a lot of people know that it's kind of weird but you know if you are at a lower stage in the game vicious bee can actually be very helpful to you if you're trying to defeat your mondo chick faster so that was kind of cool but yeah that's gonna be about it for today's video if you guys like my content please consider liking subscribing turn on notifications and that's gonna be about it so thank you guys once again so much we are so close to 4,000 subscribers it's seriously so insane but that's gonna be it and i will see you guys next time